Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. Usually computer part manufacturers are silently at war with each other. Until now. At Computex 2018 Cooler Master, Asus, Team Group and a few of the manufacturers decided that it was time to join forces and create the ultimate force, the Tough Gaming Alliance. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that button right now and turn on that little bell to receive notifications. We upload multiple times per week, so yeah, make sure you're subscribed. Also, we've got a Discord community. Come and have a yibba yabba yibba da yibba da dibba da do with us, or a chat. The link to that is also down below. So Cooler Master Asus and Team Group reached out and were like, hey, have these awesome new bits of hardware and build something cool. So that's exactly what we did. Strap yourself in and come along for the ride. Or not, it's up to you. <laughs> this video is brought to you by Cool Master and the Tough Gaming Alliance. Stay cool. Get tough. Built for gamers. Find out more about Cooler Master and the Tough Gaming Alliance in the link in the description. This is actually a pretty exciting build. It may not look like it, but this is the least RGB build that we've done in a very, very long time. And as much as I love RGB, yeah, I've, I've admitted that before, and I, I admit to loving that quite often, I feel like it's a little bit refreshing not to do something RGB. So just like every other build we do here on this channel, I'm not gonna teach you how to build a computer because there are plenty of other channels out there for that, but I'm gonna to talk to you guys about my favorite part and your favorite part, the parts. So Asus sent over their brand new Z370 Tough Gaming Plus motherboard. This is different to the other one you may have seen. This variant actually has like RGB illumination under the board. I promise that this isn't an RGB build, but yeah, it's there if, if, if I really wanted to do it that way. Now, don't get upset, but I'm using the Intel i5-8400. And, and there is a reason for it. The reason is I'm not made out of money. I already have one and it wasn't being used and it fits this board. And as far as gaming is concerned, it, it's perfect. If you want to check out the Quake Champions build we did with this CPU, there's a link in the top right hand corner right now. And yeah, it performs really, really well. And that's what this build's all about. It, it's about it's about gaming. So Team Group sent over 16 gigs of 3000 megahertz Vulcan Tough memory. This is like their new Tough branded memory. I love that it doesn't have RGB on it and it feels like the non-RGB stuff that people are making right now is kind of the more fancy stuff now. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyway, for storage, we're using a 250 gig WD Blue M.2 SATA SSD. This machine will have Steam and a few games installed in it, so it doesn't need a ton of storage. The GPU we're using is the Gigabyte G1 GTX 1060 6 gig. Now this is the exact same GPU that we used in the Quake Champions build. And there's a very, very good reason for us using this GPU. The cooler we're using is the Cooler Master MA620P Tough Edition. We did an install guide for this cooler. There is a link in the top right hand corner right now if you want to check that out. The power supply we're using is the Cooler Master Tough Gaming 750 watt semi modular power supply. And yeah, you're, you're probably seeing the trend of tough bits in this build because this is a tough alliance build. And finally, the case is the Cooler Master Masterbox MB500 Tough gaming edition, like, like I just said, everything here is basically tough branded. This case is designed for airflow and with its open front, it's perfect for a gaming room. Okay, enough out of me, let's, let's get building, right? Right? <laughs>
exactly what I wanted to do. It plays Quake Champions at a really, really good frame rate. And I'm going to use this build as my main gaming machine from here on out and retire my 6900K as it's pretty overkill for Quake, let's be honest. I think the only change I'm going to make is switch out the 1060 for a 1070 that I already have. If you're interested in the benchmarking type of video with this system, spam the comments and I'll probably get around to that if enough of you guys want to see how this machine actually performs. But as a baseline, check out the Quake Champions video that I did. And yeah, I already talked about that earlier. If you're interested in any other bits mentioned in this video, like motherboard, CPU, RAM, you, you guys get the idea. There's links to that in the description down below. And anytime you use one of those links, you're the real MVP. It actually helps us out a lot. I also wanted to give a special thanks to Cooler Master, Asus and Team Group for sending us over pretty much every single part for this epic new build. I mentioned in the last video, but I want to mention it again because I don't know if you guys saw that, but we want to do some more giveaways. So if you want to see us give away some stuff, blow up the comment section so all the companies we work with can see that you guys want some, some stuff. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do and tell us what you didn't like about it. Once again, thanks so very much for watching. I'm Nick with Gear Seekers. You peek, we seek. And I'm gonna go play some Quake on that. It's very, very cool. Now I feel awkward. What do you reckon, Claire? Yeah. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Great. Great.